I'm Clint Smith from Leica Geosystems. I've been doing a little mini series on our Rugby 600 lasers. And today I'm gonna to go to the next one that we're working on, which is the Rugby 640. And this is a very nice laser because it does horizontal width grade, and it also will do a vertical. So if I'm doing some work inside, I wanna hang drywall, I can do this, or facade on the outside. This laser is like catch-all for all kinds of work. You can do fat, flat work, work with grade, you can do sloping away from a house, you can do a parking lot with it, and you can take it inside and you can do vertical work inside as well. So I'm gonna to talk to you about these features, some of the features of this uh, fantastic laser. Uh, it does come with remote, so you can do remote work for it or you can work directly with the laser. Um, well, let's start with right now entering grade, for example. Right now I have the laser set up and just for our demo purposes, I have two pieces of paper here with X and Y axes indicated so you can see where I'm at with it. And if I wanna make a grade in the X axis, I push the level one time and I can use the keypad on here, up, or I can use the remote and I can do the same thing and the axis goes up. You notice it goes up on the X axis, the Y axis remains where it is. This gives me grade in one axis. Now, if I wanna change it and go to another axis, I'm now going back to zero grade on the X axis. It's gonna have me the opportunity to put a grade in on the Y axis, and I'll wait for it to start spinning. And once it's spinning, now you see I have zero grade in either axis. Again, I can use the keypad here, or I can use my remote to increase the grade in the X or Y axis, for example, or decrease the grade in the Y axis. And you notice the X axis remains unchanged. This is giving me the grade in one axis. But if I want to go one step further and I wanna have a grade in both axes, I push the button one more time. And now I can enter a grade over here, plus grade, and I have a minus grade in my y-axis, and they both maintain the same way. This is for tricky work, but it's fantastic if you're doing tree lawns or you're working outside away from doing some landscaping, you can enter almost any kind of grade you want. Push one more time, it will auto level, go back to zero, and when it's done, it'll start spinning. But I mentioned this, this is units used for a lot of versatile things. Ideally, this unit is suited for inside. And we have this unit, the exact same unit, in a green version as well, which is fantastic for indoor work. If you work outside, you still need a receiver. You can't see the beam more than about five or six feet or five or six meters away from the, from the unit. You still need a receiver. My unit's now back to level. I wanna show you what else you can do with this unit. We also have a scan function. So I can push the button over here automatically start scanning. The first level is 10 degrees. I'm gonna use the remote now for the second one. Then I have um, 45 degrees, and one more goes 90 degrees. Now in this setup here, I'm very close to the wall so you don't actually see what this is doing. But when you use this application, this is perfect when you do putting in cabinets or putting in kind of shelving indoors, you can see this. And you can do this without having to use a receiver because you can see the beam going back and forth quite well. This makes this very practical for that. Another function that you have when I want to get it starting spinning again is you have variable speed. Right now to make a single dot, this is perfect for doing a plumbing or a plumb line when I need to go to an exact point. I push it one time, it'll start going two RPS, two revolutions per second. This makes it easy for you to work without a receiver because your eye can see it better. And you can see the line going across the room much easier. And it's really, like I said, meant for indoors. Again, I go one more push. Now I'm getting five RPS. So it's a little bit more smoother of a line and it's still uh, good enough that I can see, especially at longer distances. The next speed is 10 RPS. And this is ideal for using with a receiver. Outside, you need a receiver, like I mentioned before. You will not see this laser if you're working outdoors without a receiver. And the receiver likes this faster rotation. So this is why we have the rotation of 10 RPS 
it makes it much easier to see for the laser or the receiver picks it up much 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 better um, the other feature is a high alert in here which is automatically set when the unit goes on so if the unit gets a little bit bumped uh, it stops spinning and it'll, be, it'll beep like this to let you know something happened to it you simply power it back off power it back on it'll auto level a little bit if it's been moved too much and then it'll start spinning again but that's it that's how fairly straightforward it is again this laser will do a flat 360 plane it'll do a plane in X and Y with a slope and you can turn it on its side and it'll do a vertical beam as well. I hope you find a good use for it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.